going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to smash that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end to hear the full story. Let's get right into it. New Orleans, the NO, has a culture of his own. Known to be hustlers, and there's no secret hitters as well in the NO. They have been calling themselves Chopper City for a minute. Not to glorify it at all. And just like most cities in the US, the loss of their projects left a lot of residents misplaced, but groups that had been at war for decades are still active in the beef. Because for a lot of people, once blood sheds, is no coming back. And today on Hood Tales, we will discuss a group that goes by the name Bird Gang and their beef with another group, Ghost Gang. According to sources, both groups have ties to two known projects in the city. Bird Gang being the Magnolia Housing Projects and Ghost Gang being the Calio Projects which both neighborhoods have been in tour for decades. And today, we will be focusing in mostly on Bird Gang and just a few alleged situations that has members indicted facing serious charges. Allegedly with being supplied Smack, Girl, and Blitz, the Bird Gang's main objective is to make money and expand the other hoods, but with unfinished beefs, also slide on their ops. The feds will first start paying attention to Bird Gang after their alleged role in a 2009 shooting that left seven people injured along the St. Charles Avenue parade route. Fast forward 2017, according to sources, gunfire erupted in the New Orleans East apartment complex when three masked men allegedly opened fire on a man who was said to be Ghost Gang. One of the shooters in the car was shot himself. A friend dropped him off at the hospital, but unfortunately, he didn't survive. Two Bird Gang members were charged with attempted second degree murder and manslaughter. With charges alleging they pulled up to Burma's apartments on Chef Mental Highway to do a hit. But their comrade was hit while in the commission of a crime. One member admitted dropping off his homie at a hospital, but didn't say what happened. On another alleged situation in 2017, a shootout would take place when three members of Bird Gang spotted a man they thought was with Ghost Gang inside of a clothing store in the 1900 block of Magazine Street. The men started arguing and when they left the store, allegedly a Bird Gang member upped the blicky and smacked the Ghost Gang member with it. Before he would too pull out his blick with both men letting off shots at each other, wounding a civilian that worked at a nearby hair salon. On another incident, a Bird Gang member showed up to a hospital with his one year old in hand the baby had been grazed by a shot. Allegedly, the member was wanted on warrants, and before police could ask what happened, he fled the hospital. The streets was talking with confidential informants and NOPD hot on members of Bird Gang. On another alleged incident, two young men said to be Ghost Gang members were trying to attend a game. For whatever reason, they were not let in and went to sit in the car. When a silver sedan pulled up and opened fire, hitting a 19-year-old and 18-year-old. Unfortunately, one died at the scene and the other at the hospital. Eventually, two Bird Gang members were charged with the hit. Allegedly, one of the victims was wanted for a murder investigation of his own before he was hit. With most of the alleged hits going on between gangs and innocent people being hit, police indicted members of Bird Gang on trafficking charges, distribution, witness intimidation, murder, attempts, and obstruction of justice. They all face different times in their alleged roles. Rest in peace to all the victims of this war on either side. More of this story, bloodshed is hard to come back from, but retaliation just leads to another ending cycle. I'm sure some of the younger victims was born into this beef and had no choice. We gotta try not to lead our youth in the same direction that we went in. The goal is to want better for the next generation. Beefing over hoods and projects we will never own is pointless. So we gotta remember, we gotta succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood tale. Man, crazy story, you feel me? First and foremost, shout out to New Orleans. Got a lot of love for the NO. You know, I do a lot of videos on the NO because it's one of them places when I was young, I looked up to, I liked it, the music, I liked the rappers, I always wanted to visit, I never got down there. And to me, it reminded me a lot, culture-wise, of my city. 
you know, before Baltimore got big on gangs, we didn't really have gangs at first. We just had neighborhoods and streets. And as y'all know, the NO got wards, they got streets, and they got clicks. Baltimore was the same way. And they also was big, you know, with the smack, with the hair on, you know what I mean? Not to glorify, but it always amazed me how somewhere in the South and somewhere all the way up, like Baltimore, going towards the East Coast, had like the same culture. Like, and it, it dawned on me, like both cities was by water. So, you know what I mean? With that being said, we already know how it's coming in. But on another note, man, as far as the violence, it just messed up because, like I said, a lot of these young men, you can't control where you born at or what neighborhood you born into. And they be beefing for generations, for decades, you know? And a lot of times, you know, it's, it's petty, you feel me? But, like I said, once bloodshed, once it escalate, you feel me? A lot of people ain't really trying to die it down. They like, we gonna ride until I leave or until they leave. So it go like that, man. But like I said, you got dudes getting hit outside of schools, wherever they see each other at, at clothing stores, you know, is on site. But you got to think about the innocent people that's around, you know. Dude went to the hospital. He had his one-year-old with him. His one-year-old got grazed in the head. By the grace of the most high, you know, the baby fortunately survived. But that's how deep the beef is. They not worried about who you with. Who you around, they not worried about innocent people, they just letting off shots and anybody getting hit and they got that anybody can get it mentality. But with that kind of mentality, man, we ain't gonna do nothing but wipe each other out, you feel me? I know people be thinking, like, man, this is what it is, this how the world is, so I'ma get down with what's going on. But you gotta think about the future generation, not our generation, you know? What about your kids, they kids? That's what we gotta think about, man. That's what it all boiled down to. I know old habits die hard, you feel me, for a lot of people, even for me. Sometimes it's hard to stay positive and it's hard to look at each other as brothers and sisters, man. But eventually we got to get to that point. We got to get back to that point. We was at that point before, you know, I don't know what happened. It's a lot that happened and a lot that made us, you know, turn on each other, you feel me? But we got to get it back, man. But yeah, rest in peace to all the victims of this war, man. A lot of people lost their life. There's not even half of it. You know, I might do a part two to this because this is just like the beginning of the story. It's so much more, man. But y'all already know, man, this is another episode of Hood Tales. This your boy Tony two times. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. Be sure to smash that like button. Love y'all fine. I'm out.